often I show this beautiful view with the truck and the um, tents there. And as you can see where Munch, uh, where Foyer usually glows or majestically sort of stands, in front of her is just this, these plumes of smoke feeling very too close for comfort and when we're not comfortable we're not staying here we just came back just to get a few more things and to madly but to do some watering I know that sounds mad but you have to be optimistic and hope that you can come back and eat the vegetables and what have you um, the fire actually started well you can't see but it started behind Sunrise Lodge or that's the first time I saw the where I saw the plumes of smoke and it's literally travelled right across, right around the valley, down um, Foge de Cavalosa towards Puna Negra, um, which is kind of, you know, quite far in the distance. But I mean, it's not that far if you were a bird, it wouldn't be far, but you have to zigzag. It takes about 40 minutes for our friend to get to our friends who live in Puna de Negra, whose houses were completely burnt down, land burned. And now it's travelled all the way towards Monchic. It just seems just too incredible to even, I don't know, to, what do you say, you know, and I feel like it kind of, the whole thing started when our solar panels fell, came tumbling down the other day. To me, it was like a warning sign saying things are going to get pretty hairy. Even our solar panels from the truck fell down, nothing to do with the fires at all. But it was just all a bit bizarre that it all happened and then suddenly these fires started to spring up. Um, it just felt like something was in the stars. <coughs> oh God. <coughs> yeah, I've been breathing in a lot of smoke these last few days as well. Wherever you go, there's smoke. God, please. Those fires don't, are just looking bigger. Okay, just sending love, stay safe. Yeah. What can you say? Mm. Uh -huh.